So here I'll be telling you all about cockpit crew pilot hiring in the Indigo Airlines. So first of all, I'm introducing myself. My name is Amanpreet Kaur and I'm in Air Cruise Aviation Private Limited. This is my email ID and you can also add me on LinkedIn. So now the contents which I'll be covering here would be the about, that is what is Indigo Airlines is all about. It's requirement for the, for the hiring, the benefits which you all will get if you get selected or you get hired in the, inter, uh, in the Indigo Airlines and the question and answer which are generally asked in the interview. So now I'll be all telling you about it. So, first of all, this is the airline. This is the Airbus A320-200. Uh, this is the airplane of Indigo. Now, what is Indigo Airlines? Indigo is an Indian low-cost airline, which is headquartered in Gurugram, Haryana, India. It is the largest airline in India, and it has uh, the domestic market share of 59.24%, which we can see it has a large domestic hold in the country. And uh, it covers, has the sixth largest carrier in Asia with over 6.5 crore passengers carried in the financial year 2018 and 19. It has its primary hub at IGI Airport, Delhi. The parent company is Interglobal Aviation Limited and its destination, it covers around 87 destinations and about the headquarters I've already told that uh, it is in Gurugram, Haryana, India. It commenced its operations from 4 August 2006 and its key people are Rakesh Gangwal and Rahul Bhatia, who is the co-founder, and Rono Datta is the CEO. The baggage information is in uh, domestic class in economy. It is 7 kgs for the handbag and 15 kgs for the other luggage. Whereas for the other destinations outside India, it, it is 20, uh, 20 kg. And the additional allowance depends uh, on the route, and you have to pay it. The total employees till March 2019 were 23,531. And at the right side in this image, you can see the headquarter of Indigo Airlines. Next, this is the image of the ground staff of the Indigo Airlines. Now I'm coming on the requirements that what all is the requirement for getting hired in the, uh, as a pilot or as a cabin crew. Uh, the first step in this direction will be to obtain a commercial pilot license. More commonly, it is referred to as the CPL. So for the Airbus 320 that I've already told that it operates Airbus 8, uh, 320. Now the age between 18 and 32 years and of Indian nationality or an OCI card holder. Then a person should have achieved a minimum score of 51% in physics, mathematics and English in class 12 exam. And if an applicant has, is applying after the graduation, then the, it should be physics and maths or engineering with a mark of 51% or more and the eligibility criteria in 12th with 51% except English, it can be overlooked for that time. And then after that, the person should possess an Indian class one medical certificate. He, she should be good in physical condition with appropriate weight and height and should be fluent in both English and writing skills. It should have a unique ID number, registration number at the time of admission. And uh, the one of the note is that candidate not possessing an Indian class one medical can apply for the Indigo program with a class two medical certificate. However, they must possess an Indian class one medical prior to commencing the program. 
This is the image of the pilots in the Indigo Airlines. Now I come upon this, uh, that is Indigo acclaims the woman crew in avi aviation. This means that the uh, Indigo airline is more focused toward woman oriented, uh, woman oriented hiring, we can say, uh, because uh, in Indigo airlines, there is a rule that in cabin crew, they hire only women. But in case of pilot, they hire both men and women. So they have they are more inclined towards women staff, uh, hiring of a woman staff. As you can see in this image also, the cabin crew is uh, in the pier. Uh, the, there are women in the cabin crews. And but in the pilots, uh, it is optional. It can be both men and women. Here is the image of women pilots in the Indigo Airlines. Next, I come on the uniform standards. The uniform standard is the navy blue uniform Indigo, all female 1230 cabin crew has been designed by Rajesh Pratap Singh. And the stylist was the Ambika Pillai. And uh, only two shades of lipsticks and nail colors were permitted. That is fuchsia pink and terracotta and the bobby cut wings are optional. Now I come upon the benefits which you which we all get from uh, if we get hired in the cabin crew, that is we get the option to travel the world. When uh, we work in the cabin crew, we often visit various places. So we are more inclined to we can travel the world. We, uh, we get to know about various cultures. Then the next point is paid to travel. Uh, paid to travel here means that uh, when we are working as a cabin crew, we are traveling, so we are paid uh, the salary for that. And don't pay utilities or rent. This applies to the uh, Middle East countries. Here, the uh, in the cabin crew here, we are paid for, uh, we are, don't have to pay for the utility or rent. And good salary, of course, uh, uh, the salaries of the people working in the cabin crew is uh, often seen to be more as compared to the people working in other sectors. Then easier promotion. The promotion scale is also is more easy or we can say it's more frequent as compared to the other sectors. Then access to five star hotels and cheaper flight tickets. This is the economy class of uh, Indigo Airlines. In Indigo Airlines, we generally don't have a uh, business uh, class because the main MSP of Indigo Airlines is that it is the cheapest airline in India as compared to other airlines being available. So in uh, Indigo Airlines, they don't have a business class, rather they provide us various other benefits, uh, which are quite similar to that of a business class. That is called the 6E prime. 6E is the code which is being assigned by the IATA to the uh, Indigo Airlines. Here it offers a, a 6E prime benefit which we get that is we can skip the check-in queue by the fast forward service they provide then a seat of our choice uh, whichever seat we want to get uh, want to take and we can choose an in-flight snack combo and then get your baggage quicker on arrival so now i'll be now shifting to the question and answer part so what type of questions are generally asked in the interview session? So my, the first question is, according to you, what defines a professional pilot? This question we will answer like that. We will basically define what pilots are. So uh, the professional pilots fly and navigate airplanes, helicopters, and other type of aircraft. Airline pilots work for specific companies transporting people and cargo on fixed schedules, while commercial pilots work for companies that offer charter flights, rescue operations, or aerial photography. 
Modern airplanes are operated by a cockpit crew made up of the captain and the co-pilot or first officer. Together, they share a responsibility for flight duties such as steering the plane, communicating with air traffic controllers, and monitoring instruments. Older plans may also have a flight engineer on board, while newer aircraft have automated this role. So basically, we will here be covering all the professional aspects or uh, how this pilot is all about. We will cover all, all the information about the pilot in a very precise way. Next, this is the cock, uh, image of the cockpit. Now, second question is state the importance of proficiency in a number of languages for a pilot. So the answer should be in, could be in the form like those pilots who fly privately only require understanding control towers. Knowing only English can be just enough, but for pilots who need to fly publicly in a regular basis must be fluent in languages other than English also. And this then becomes an added advantage for the pilot in handling the situation. Next, pilots are required to take many simultaneous responsibilities during flight. Say something about this. The answer could be like, Pilots navigate the flight, observe and direct the activities of the crew, check instruments, keep an eye on the weather and monitor altitude and air traffic. Doing all these and more often simultaneously require outstanding multitasking skills and power of concentration. So here in this question, we have to explain in a very uh, short uh, or precise manner, but all the duties which a pilot performed during its journey or during its fly. The next question is, what would be a pilot's role during emergency? The answer should be describe first what your emotional response would be. It is important to demonstrate, preferably through examples, that you can maintain your poise during such events and that you possess enough presence of mind to activate emergency procedures and delegate duties among crew members as necessary. In this, we should uh, the question should basically be answered like how the presence of mind is in a pilot should work. Basically, the flying a plane is all about their presence of mind of the pilot. So here uh, we should cover that point. The main focus should be the presence of mind of a pilot. Now this is image of the uh, cabin crew of the Indigo Airlines. Next question, what have you done to improve your knowledge since last year? Uh, the answer should be like, try to include improvements that are relevant to the job. A wide variety of activities can be mentioned as a positive self-improvement have some good ones in handy to mention in the circumstance. Employers tend to look for goal-oriented applicants and show a desire for continuous learning by listening your non-work related hobbies, regardless of what hobbies you choose to present. Remember that the goal is to prove self-sufficiency, time management and motivation. So the next question could be like, did you ever have to modify the flight course? Uh, depending on the internal uh, or external conditions, pilots are trained enough and able to reform the course in flight. Modification of the flight course is a very vital responsibility and requires close contact with control towers and attention to detail. Now the question is, how would you assess your success in this job? So uh, the answer should be uh, like, there are a number of ways in which you could assess your success in the field. You set big challenges for yourself and meet them. The achievement you gained count as your big success. Your boss told you that you have done a great performance. All those achievement cards, rewards and awards will speak about your success. So you need to be very, uh, you can say you have to tell about yourself that in, in the past activities, how your success, how, how you have been praised and any reward you have been achieved, that all come here. Now, in your opinion, what qualities make a good pilot? 
a good pilot takes his or her job seriously and is a good risk evaluator not a risk taker he is one who is constantly ca carries his able attribute has his personal baggage on each and every flight what was your motto behind becoming a pilot uh, here the answer should be try listing the reason behind you becoming a pilot beforehand and cite two three most strong of them uh, the answer you, you can say it was your dream job or something like that now the question is uh, i coming to the last question that what lesson have you achieved from mistakes from your pilot job so here one has to be honest about such a question and your answer has to be brief and to the point uh, the answer could be i am a constant learner and prefer learning uh, from my mistakes my mistakes in my career have made me more alert and confident in those situations and my knowledge has enhanced skills uh, and sharpened from my mistakes so these are the questions that can be covered in your interview uh, now i come on the covid 19 regulations that how uh, indigo airlines has all the uh, measures taken in uh, covid 19 so the covid test is required and then thermal screening will be done for all the passengers upon arrival and for the quarantine international passengers there are the various uh, different guidelines for the different countries so that is all mentioned uh, in their website then for domestic passengers seven day of qu home quarantine is mandatory as per the constitutional and government functionaries and their staff members are exempted from seven days of home quarantine then for a uh, passenger obligation the domestic passengers uh, they must download the uh, arogya setu app and for again the international passengers since uh, different countries have different rules so that is all mentioned uh, in their website this is how the boarding pass of the indigo airlines look like uh now that's all the, for my uh, indigo airlines cabin crew hiring thank you so much for your